he was in the middle of the worst devastation of the entire hurricane. Come on, Pop. I still, to this day, don't know how he possibly survived. Come here. Come here. You want some more? Now I was flying a drone over, filming the destruction to try and bring awareness and aid to the area. I flew the drone over him and could hear off in the distance him barking at it. So I knew there was a dog there. I pinpointed with GPS where he was and then walked on foot over towards him. how skinny he was that he certainly hadn't been eating much for quite some time. Poor thing, you've been through a lot, haven't you? Let me have a seat with you. I spent a number of hours with him and he got more and more used to me being there. Old pup look pretty happy now. One of the rescue workers said they look, put a leash around him and pull him out. Nobody had claimed him and he was shipped to Florida. I realized that I would really like to have him myself. So I adopted him in Florida. Not until I got to the airport did I realize, hey, wait a second, this dog's probably never been on a leash, definitely never been on a plane. Thankfully, he was a trooper and Got him right to California with no problem. Oh. <laughs> He's adjusting quite well. He's quite happy. You can probably see him behind me there. He's an outdoor dog. He doesn't want to sit inside and hang out with everybody. He, he wants me to be with him, but he wants to be outdoors, which is great for me because I prefer to be sleeping outdoors and outside all the time. I just try to be gentle with them, extra caring. Since I've had him, I've had to go back to the Bahamas several times. The best part is when I come back to town, he jumps all up and down and whimpers and licks, and dances around in circles. He's a very lovely dog. To be able to give him a peaceful place now is the least I can do for the poor guy. Si amas a los animales, suscríbete.